Hey guys, this is Caspi with Tape, and today you join me for the penultimate episode of Season 2 of Fighter Jet Showdown. Yes, this is the final qualifier before the grand finale. We've got the final jets in to see who will fight it out in the grand finale of this series. And the first jets that will be trying out for that dubious honor will be the Inquisitors, which come to me from the Phantom Alpha. And these are really cool. They're quite big planes. I really like how their wings kind of, sort of, kind of slope upward. I don't know if that'll help maneuverability. I think they have to slope down for that, but who knows in KSP. Uh, you know, twin engine, pretty cool. They fly pretty nice, and uh, yeah. And they also have um, a GAO-8 cannon, a 30mm, which should be uh, pretty deadly. And what will these be going up against? Well, they will be going up against the Bat... <clears throat> against the Batwing V2. These come to me from Corey, and uh, they're pretty cool. They're based on Batwings, and they're, they're using standard Vulcan cannons, um, and yeah, everything else. So let's get them in the air, in, in, so I don't keep rambling. Um, so I've taken some advice and installed Physics Range Extender, and hopefully that will be uh, that will uh, solve the kind of stopping thing. Apparently, it was the Physics Range that was doing it. Um, so hopefully, this mod will help stop the kind of jutteriness. But who knows? Um, anyway. So yes, I'll get into the air. We've got the bat wings going off. The Inquisitors flailing a little bit, uh, doing a lot of turning. Maybe they uh, roll a little bit much, but uh, I guess we'll see. Oh yeah, they're freaking out. Um, will that help? Will that hinder? Who knows? These guys. Ooh, 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 careful, buddy! Fucking hell! Don't crash into your friend. Don't kill your own people. All right, we're almost at range. Once uh, we get to eight kilometers out, and there we go. We should be. We're in position. Okay, start. Is it 10 kilometers? Huh, they're just not going for it. They're just flying away from each other. Don't you just love it when mods work? Um, okay, competition is now starting. That's good. Right, go fight each other, you fools. Um, this will be fantastic. Yeah, for some reason it wasn't at 8 kilometers. Oh my god, what is that? It's an A120. Coming in from 12 kilometers out. That doesn't seem right. Um, do these guys have radars? They do. I have given them radars. I had to arm these myself. There is a radar, like, stuck in here somewhere. Looks like those missiles are just gonna hit the ground, though. They were fired from too far away and won't make it. Um, looks like the stopping is actually still happening, but, uh, who cares. Alright, we're flying in. Are you gonna fire some missiles? Can you see your enemies? Okay, they're dodging missiles. It looks like, uh, the Inquisitors have the bat wings on the ropes. Um, not entirely sure what that's about, but the other back wing is going in for some shots. Oh, fly past each other. No one's been shot down yet. The missile fighting is over quite quickly, it appears, because they were coming at each other pretty fast. Um, this guy's turning to one of the Inquisitors now. Will he shoot him down? Lighting him up. He might do it. Oh, looks like the other back wing's got a guy on his tail. He's diving low to try and avoid him. And now he's going to come back. Will, Ooh, oh my god, there's a lot of gunfire going on. Oh. Batwing put some, uh, put some shots on the Inquisitor. They're both, everyone's going so low, is someone gonna crash? Uh, this guy's shooting it. Ooh! Ooh, got some hits! Jesus. No cheats are on, right? I'm just making sure, because, uh, I've seen some hits, but no kills. Um, maybe they're just not firing enough. Well, open fire. Oh, they're flying right at you! Oh, missed. Jesus. Okay, this is a pretty bit, a lot of jousting. A lot of gunfire going out, not a lot of accuracy. Um, <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I guess the uh, the Gao 8s aren't particularly accurate and can only fire very short bursts, but they are 30mm guns. Um, okay. Ooh, took a hit to the wing. Um, why aren't... Th that didn't do any damage. Is there some kind of thing on? Let's see. Um, shell fluid industry, yeah, no, no, it's not peace mode or anything. Alright. Okay. Keep going. <laughs> Alright. Shoot each other in the face. Yeah, oh, this guy finally gets shredded. Wow, it looks, maybe it's this new BD armory? It took ages for that kill to go in. Maybe the 30 mils are a bit crap. Now the Batwing is shooting. It looks like, I'm so confused about everything that's going on, but the Inquisitor gets shot down in beautiful style. Okay, there is no confusion anymore. Um, it truly was just some eventful fighting. But it looks like one of the Inquisitors is on this guy now, but will he take him down? Oh, they collide in the air. Something gets lost. How is the Inquisitor doing? Did he lose something? Oh, he gets his wings shredded off now. It's hotting up. It took a little while to get started, but I have to say, it's, uh, yeah, it looks like the bat wings really took it um, through, who knows, a bit of a confusing dogfight. Um, but yeah, 
The Batwing's clearly the better dogfight, it's put a lot more guns to it. I reckon the 20 mils helped, you probably don't want um, ground attack guns on your fighter. But uh, yes, alright, so let's move on to the next craft. So the next jets that will be going up will be a pair of 5.1.1s. These come to me from Zack, and they're quite interesting. They're tri-engine, they're kind of very back-weighted, they've got big wings, they've got full Vulcan turrets, a little bit overpowered there, buddy, but they look pretty cool, but they are quite light on missiles, so I'm uh, not too uh, worried about the four, uh, the four guns. And they will be going up against a pair of F241 lightning hoods, which come to me from Pulsar. Now these were a little bit last minute. Pulsar's been in a, quite a lot of these videos actually, but I was supposed to get um, a craft from my, from the like owner of my uh, Discord server, but it didn't come in time annoyingly, so I uh, kind of grabbed these. I was like, I know these will be good, so I grabbed them. So yeah, um, but they are pretty awesome. They look kind of just interesting. They're, tr uh, they're twin engine. They're um, just sort of, yeah, pretty good. Yeah, let's get them in the air. Oh, and for all the people asking, um, about me uploading craft, uh, so you can download them. I will be doing that this episode, um, although I am, yeah, 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 basically I'm just going to put up all the crafts from all of the fighter jet showdowns on a media fire so you can do it. I know I should have done it a long time ago, but sometimes I just kind of forget and don't do things. Uh, so yes, hopefully, um, the competition will start properly this time, not at like 11 kilometers. These are flying quite nicely. These are flying pretty well as well, pretty well as well. They're quite interesting looking planes. Who shall win? Who shall get to the final? Um, we're coming up on eight kilometers. Hopefully that will be the... Oh, starting at seven and a half. BD Armory is so just like, yeah, whatever. We'll just do, you know. Right, so uh, these guys actually don't have any um, AMRAMs. So these guys are going to get missiles away first, which may be helpful. Um, so yeah, will they be able to dodge? They do have... Ooh, they only have flares. Oh, they're going to have real problems with the uh, radar-guided missiles then. Uh, that guy's evading, and I think is pumping out chaff, actually, um, and does manage to avoid them. Uh, this guy's breaking high now, gunfighting will start, but it looks like this guy might eat some gunfire. Uh, oh, he's right on his tail before he even gets to put guns to anything. He is shredded, as is the... Oh, no, he didn't get hit. Oh, he's actually behind the guy now, but he pulls right... Oh, buddy, you could have gotten that kill. That would have been pretty awesome, but he's coming around now. Oh, maybe he picked the right... <laughs> oh, no, nope, just... What are you doing, buddy? Where are you going? Oh, that was his friend. Okay, he was just taking a look. Oh, and he gets shredded quickly. It looks like these uh, lightning hoods just have a fairly easy dominance just uh, getting behind things. He's still flying, though. You know, I'm giving up too soon, and I do want to see this guy come in and shred him. Oh, look at that. Just keeping right on his tail, putting guns to him. Probably won't be able to stay on him that much longer, but does get a few more hits in. Oh, Jesus, this is savagery. Missile comes in. Misses. Oh, look at this chase. He can't get enough shots because he's flipping out. That was awesome. Right, wow, that was uh, pretty quick. Uh, the uh, Pulsar's F241 uh, Lightning Hood's doing pretty well. He does have a lot of experience with this. So, yeah, let's move on to the next round. And, uh, yeah. So, the next craft that will be going up will be a pair of Firestorm HJ4VEFs. These come to me from Marco. And these aren't twin engine fighters, these are quad engine fighters. Um, and they're pretty, yeah, they're looking pretty good. They've got big wings, I think they should be pretty maneuverable. They're actually carrying a Pac-3 intercept missile, which is pretty deadly, but I'm thinking given the ranges, it wouldn't be too unfair. And they will be going up against a pair of KF-00 stealth interceptors. These come to me from Maximus Light. And they're pretty cool, they're stealth interceptors. I guess they're not stealthy, really, but uh, they are interceptors, and they're pretty cool. They carry this drop tank, which I'm going to leave on there, because it keeps the fuel at a fairly fair level. And yeah, let's get these uh, into the air. Um, everything's all set up, let's go. Um, now, in testing, when I took off, it broke these tail fins, but oh hey, the AI doesn't do it. Yeah, good testing. You're sort of there right out. You wouldn't want to lose half of your kind of tail fins, because they also provide pitch authority. So uh, yeah, you're going to need that. All right, I one of these. Ooh, fucking hell! He's a little bit flippy. That freaked me out. How are these guys flying? A little more stably, actually. Uh, the four engines are quite nice from the front. I love how these look with the kind of jutted out engines and the wings around them. Oh, with the jutted out um, intakes and the wings around them. Uh, these should be fantastic energy fighters. Of course, these carry more fuel, um, but they still should probably be faster with their four engines than these. But uh, these might be more maneuverable due to less weight. Um, so yeah. It looks like we've got pack 3 intercept missiles coming in. Hopefully they'll be able to dodge them, otherwise it'll be a bit of a shame. 
Um, yeah, it looks like... Mm, no, it doesn't look like they're even going to slightly hit. Uh, so that's, yeah, that's cool. I guess just scary might make them evade a bit. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with the interesting missile. But, oh, we got two Amrams coming in, and they just miss, and two more just miss as well. Holy hell. I really thought there was a hit, actually. Um, these guys have dived pretty low. This guy's maybe going to lose control, actually. Holy shit. Um, yeah, we got missiles coming in. Looks like the firestorms have got these guys on the ropes. Have forced this guy into a spin. He might indeed... Oh, no, he does manage to pull out, but now there's guns coming on him. He is going to have serious trouble. That is a lot of gunfire. They must have multiple cannons. But, oh, the firestorm gives up. How are they doing? Uh, oh, someone hit the... Something happened. Oh, shit, one of the firestorms got taken out. I think by a missile. Maybe. Um, yeah. Oh, this guy gets shredded as well. From out of nowhere. I don't even... I still don't know where that's coming from. Above? Behind? Oh, no, he's chasing this guy. What the goddamn hell happened there? They really are stealth interceptors. I didn't fucking see them. <laughs> yeah, so that guy I think was taken out maybe by a missile. The other guy was taken out by both of these guys' guns. And that's quite interesting. So yeah, congratulations to um, Maximus. These really did uh, did do the job. Uh, especially stealthy. I didn't see them for shit. <laughs> anyway, let's move on to the final round of the qualifier and see who will be going into the semi-final against these interceptors. So the next planes that will be going up will be a pair of XF Vultures from Daryl. These are fairly interesting looking designs. They've got weird looking uh, control surfaces, but um, yeah, they're three engine uh, fighters with um, a whiplash here, which will give them a lot of speed. And then these for maneuverability, the Panther engines. Um, got really big wings, that should help. These fly really well, and that's, uh, I think, yeah, they just... They're very stable, but also very maneuverable. They kind of managed to balance both quite well, and I thought these were quite impressive. Um, and they'll be going up against a pair of KA-23s. These come to me from Robert, and uh, these are really nice. I know it's kind of another F-22, but it's actually more of an F-23, so, uh, you know. Um, and these are really cool, and I really do like them, and it will be... And these are some of the more maneuverable of the F-22 frames I've ever seen, and it will be good to see if you can actually make an effective F-22 frame. Um, because a lot of the time it's just too much wing and they don't turn enough. But yeah, anyway, let's see. The final qualifier. Who will win? Let's find out. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Been an interesting day of fights. The first one, they just didn't seem to want to fight for a while. Second one, I don't know, wasn't that a bit of a murder? And then the other one, you kind of thought the Firestorms were going to win, but then they didn't. <gasps> yeah, I know. So, uh, place your bets now. These are uh, less conventional, quite big, look very functional. Um, these are fairly beautiful, and they are quite functional as well. These are capable of being very, very maneuverable. Um, so yes, we're getting to our starting positions. Uh, eight kilometers, probably. Yeah, see, it's just kind of random. Sometimes it's seven and a half, sometimes it's eight, sometimes it's eleven. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> okay, now they're coming for each other. Who will fire first? I think they both have AMRAMs. Uh, yeah, looks like it. Everyone's firing AMRAMs away, do they? Yes, they do. Oh, I armed these myself, actually. These came to me stock, so the weapons I actually put on myself. Which means they only have one gun. If you don't arm your weapons, they're going to be armed by me, who is a very big proponent of only having one gun because it looks nice. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, might be an idea to arm your own ones, but I don't mind arming them. Um, also means I don't have to retweak the BD armory. Ooh, hey! This guy got shot down. Do these guys have uh, countermeasures? They do. Okay, it's not my fault. That guy got taken out by a missile. Will this guy avoid the missile too? He, they do have chaff and flares, so they should be able to, but if they're not quite maneuverable enough, um, then they will miss. And, you know, sometimes luck has it, but it looks like those will miss. This guy is basically just running now. He has all the speed he needs, but uh, that's not great when you're fighting missiles, because missiles are faster than you no matter what. Um, <laughs> Um, unless you're in an X-71 uh, Blackbird. Is it the X-71? I hope so. I hope I haven't forgotten the uh, designation of the Blackbird. Yeah, that can outrun pretty much any missile. Okay, so this guy's pretty much on the ropes. Uh, the F-22 is going to run out of missiles at some point, but will it be before this guy's dead or after? But now they're in gun range. One of the F-22s bearing down. This guy just running away, clearly terrified by the uh, beauty of the F-22s and the uh, kind of savage efficiency and amounts of missiles. Um, yes, they're both in the air now. This guy's really got to turn and fight. Buddy, you've got to, you've got to turn and fight. You've got to... <laughs> unless he can't have, uh, turn the F-22s. It is looking like a victory for the F-22s. And that's... Uh, I'm a little happy because no F-22s have ever done very well in this competition. It would be nice if they did because I love the F-22s look. 
Um, oh, and he's right in his tail, but this guy dives low. But will he hit the ground? Has he fucked up? No, he's alright. Um, but that guy's diving on him too. None of the bullets seem to be hitting. Seems to be a very in inaccurate day for guns today. But this guy moves fairly erratically, which is actually very helpful for fighting BD Armory. But some bullets finally struck through his wing, rip off his body, and the F-22 kind of glides in beautifully, gets right behind him, and will no doubt shred him in a few seconds. Oh no, it's actually, he's actually still alive. Hopefully he gets shot more before he hits the ground, because it's always more impressive to see. Yeah, now he's got some stability back, but uh, yeah, this guy not so much. He's going to hit the ground. <laughs> Well, what a... Ooh, oh, eh? Will he not? Oh, no, I was wrong. He's gonna fuck him up. He's still alive. He's got missiles and guns. It's still flying. This is very impressive. But obviously, when he tries to roll, he's just gonna flip out. But he's still in the air. This is a well-built aircraft, I have to say. Um, because of these massive control services, probably. Just run. Just run, man. Just run forever. Oh, no, he finally takes enough hits that he's actually dead. The yep, F-22's coming. Oh, look at that. And this guy will actually hit the ground now. So yes, the KF... I keep calling them F-22's, but they're KA-23's. But I just call them how I see them. <laughs> so yeah. So, that is the qualifier done. The F-22's will be going through to the uh, semi-final. Something that has never really been achieved by F-22's in the past. So yes. Let's go there now. So yes, we're on to the first round of the semi-finals between the F-241 Lightning Hoods and the Batwings. So let's get them into the air. I always like the semi-finals and finals because you know you've got two really competent dogfighters. Unless it's like you have two that like flailed against each other in the first competition, but I never really get that anymore. I always get really just quite incredible fighters sent to me. Uh, <laughs> so I can pick, fairly easily pick eight really good ones. That's why I really like doing these episodes more and more just because it's, you know, it, it gets easier, well, really. Um, but yeah, uh, so yeah, the semi-finals are always quite fun because you're like, okay, who's gonna who's gonna take this and uh, you know, fuck up whoever. So yes, the F uh, getting into positions. Yeah, eight kilometers seems to be where BD Armory likes to start. You know, it has a personality of its own. I've long suspected that the BD Armory developers have uh, been writing code to fuck with me. Um, <laughs> just like I don't know, man, change the uh, range occasionally. Just really, just really fuck with his head. Doesn't look like these guys have radars, but they do. Which is weird, because they do have a radar in there, and you can actually see that it's working, but they just won't fire their long-range missiles. Huh. Interesting. Um, that may be my fault, but, you know, if things get sent to me unarmed, I'm, I'm only, a, a, you know, one man. But it looks like, oh, whoa, shit, dog! Fuck the missiles, he just got a brilliant hit, and then get shredded by the other F! Oh, hell! Did you see that though? It just cut off his wing beautifully. Now it's one on one. That was some good combat. Oh, but this guy's flipped out at the worst possible time. And is the Batwing gonna kill him? Will he be destroyed like Harvey Dent? Yeah, he's looking fucked. He's looking Harvey Dented. Was it Batman who killed Harvey Dent? Yeah, that happened. Anyway, the Batwing wins in quite a glorious dogfight. Um, you know, no missiles fired. It seems to have an aversion to it. Bert managed to strip off a wing, get shot, and then the wingman finishes the job. That's some good teamwork. So yeah, I'm going to put that on my little bracket. And then we're going to move on to the final round of the semi-finals to see who will go up against the Batwing in the final round of the competition. Is that guy still in the air? Oh, he is! What am I talking about? No, it's not over! Oh, shit, dog! <laughs> he's, still, he's still going! What's that, you suppose? frozen in the air. Yeah. Oh, I want to see this guy get shot down. <laughs> I didn't see that. I thought this guy hit the ground, but he never did. Well, that's interesting. You know, this is a really, a really good plane, although I doubt it'll have much chance of winning, unless that guy flips out and hits the ground. But he's probably not going to die. I can call it here, but I'm, I don't want to. I, I like to see it through to the very end. Um... I hope you're not trying to shoot that target I set for you, because I can't unset it. Oh, there we go. Buddy, do the kill. God, man, you really got to get your shit together. You're not, you're not gonna, you're gonna, you, you're gonna kill him? Kill him, buddy. Shoot him! <laughs> oh, then he's not great at lining up. Maybe he's too squirrely. And this guy's bucking around. That was pretty cool, though. Do it. I mean, oh, no, he's in front now. Get a missile kill. I want this guy to pull it out and win. Oh no, but then I have to change my bracket. I've already written Batwing in. Come on, Batwing. Don't make me change my bracket. Ooh. Get, get the kill. 
If he doesn't get it, there we go! <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. Oh, he's still not going down. God fucking damn it. Fire a missile. Kill him. Do it. Do a switcheroo. Fucking... Oh, dude, is he gonna... Nah, he's gonna hit the ground. I just want to switch a roof because that'd be so funny. But he lands gently, the pilot survives, all is good. Well, that was a bit silly, but anyway, let's move on to the uh, F-22 versus the F-00-something interceptor. All right, so of course, the uh, final round of the semi-final... Well, the second round, I guess, will be the KA KA twenty threes, not F twenty twos, versus the F double zero F double zero zero stealth interceptor. S put more zeros in the name, man. <laughs> All right, let's get let's get him going. Let's get him fighting. These are both fantastic aircraft. Um, the best performing F twenty twos I've ever seen, and some truly stealth interceptors. I don't even see them. They just fuck you up. They're also packing a lot of AMRAMs because an interceptor's job is to shoot down like bombers and things. Um, okay, ooh, fucking hell, buddy. Always freaks me out with that turn. You're a sneaky fucker. Um, all right. Oh, careful. They're both a bit squirrely, but that's just part of being so maneuverable. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I think they're, this guy's packing four AMRAMs as well, but also has sidewinders. Oh, I turned that off. When did I turn that off? Oh, no, it wasn't recently. No, it was recently, even. What was that? Ah, it doesn't matter. Anyway, we're all going to fight now. Who will die? Who will win? Let's find out. Okay, there goes Amrams. Have we got Amrams coming in from the interceptors? Guys, you got to fire those Amrams. There they go. Okay. Split and low. Ooh, is anyone going to be killed? Oh, this missile's coming in for this guy, but he's too stealth. They don't even see him. They just kind of go near him by accident. Yeah, that's, that's what happened. Um, his... Oh, his body hasn't taken any missiles. Uh, stuff's exploding, but I think it's just missiles on flares. And this guy's coming in now with some guns. Will he light up the F-22? He's putting guns to him. Ooh, they do miss, though. But he's putting more guns to him. Ooh, ooh, shit, dog. Oh, he... Oh, there's a missile on him. What's happening? I'm so confused. There's an F-22 on this guy's tail. This guy... It's a line of planes right now. That guy here is chasing that guy. This guy's chasing that guy. And this guy's chasing me. There's no way to, like, film this well, but, uh... <laughs> Looks like the F-22s have them on the ropes. Um, ooh, I guess they're both technically stealth planes, because the F-22 is a stealth plane. And, uh, oh, shit, though. Missile takes out one of the KA-23s. But then the KA-23s, uh, one of the KA-23s, takes out the stealth interceptor. And now it's one-on-one -on -one in a bit of a joust. This guy isn't lined up, though. Will he get the kill? He takes a bunch of hits, but he is not out. Holy shit, this is going to be a long fight. <laughs> Actually, probably not. This guy's going to have trouble now without that um, other canard. But he could get the kill. In fact, he might just. Is he going to get it? Can he just control himself well enough to uh, stay on the target? I don't think he can. I think he's too damaged to really get an effective kill. He should really be firing missiles right now. That'd probably do the job or at least make him split. And oh no, he gets the kill! But is he dead? Yes, he is. Holy hell, that was one of the best fights I've ever seen. It seems like a lot of the time, there'll be consecutive kills. So you could see that the F-22 got shot down, then this guy shot down that guy's wingman. But that, oh my god, took damage. He's lost a bit of wing there, a bit of wing there, lost his rear canard, his rear tail plane. Took a lot of damage, but still managed to get the kill. This is a really awesome plane, and will it be more awesome Oh shit, dog. It's not over again. And the missile comes in. Oh my god, it is not over. I called it way too early. Oh my god. Not only is it flying, it's flying well and it got the kill. Oh, that is the big greatest upset in the history of sport. The stealth interceptor comes back from nothing. I have called it early far too many times today, mostly for giggles. But this time, wow, that really earned it. I am so sorry, F20, F20, KA23 designer. But the F00, you know, lost a whole wing, but maintained enough stability to get a gun kill. To get a freaking gun kill. Okay. I take back everything I said about the F-22. <laughs> wow. That was a fight of switcheroos. We had an F-22 killed by a missile. The F-22 killed one of the interceptors. The interceptor damages the F-22. The F-22 rips off an entire interceptor's wing. 
And then while it's climbing, the Interceptor comes back, gets the kill. That is just... Oh my god. Let's move on to the final between the Batwing and this plucky little Interceptor, which could not be killed. So yes, here we are at the final. The Batwing versus the F-000 Stealth Interceptor. Now, the most impressive thing about the Batwings is it wasn't firing missiles because I mounted its radar backwards. So it's gotten this far with the backwards radar. Yeah. That, there's a reason to send me stuff armed. I am an idiot. I do things wrong. <laughs> so yeah. Let's get them in the air. Both fantastic craft. These have ruled with impunity. These seem to just come back from nowhere. The first kills they got, I didn't see them because they were so stealthy. The second kills they got, I thought they were dead and I almost called it for the F-22. Could you imagine? That would have been the greatest upset in the history of sport. That happens very frequently on this show. Um, we get the, There's been a lot of the greatest upsets in the history of sport, you know. And it happens a lot. So yes, I have no idea who will win. Usually in the final, I, I have no idea, and that is true today. Both of them incredible fighters. Highly unconventional, semi-unconventional, but both really rather amazing. Almost a competition distance now. We'll fly in. Will these guys fire their missiles? Hopefully. I'd feel pretty bad if they didn't. You do have your radar up, right? Radar. Radar! Oh shit, I turned it off. I think they do. Yes, they're firing missiles. Now it's fair. Woo! <laughs> These guys also firing missiles, they are interceptors of course, they are very well prepared for long range combat and truly well prepared for close range combat with their ability to dogfight, ability to flip on pretty much a dime. You can see this looks uncontrolled but it's truly well controlled. More missiles away, will the Batwings return fire with some uh, Sidewinders, far better at close range. Oh there's a missile coming in for this guy, will he dodge it? No, that definitely went through him, but uh, we'll call it, but he gets shredded by the interceptor. And now the Batwing is left to himself versus two Interceptors. Will he get a kill and level this? Or will he be shredded before he can even put guns to him? And ooh, ripped apart. Wow, impunity. Truly, these uh, Zeros are uh, just incredible. They, they did that with, with so little effort. While the uh, Batwings are trying to get into position, they just swooped in and killed them. These truly are some really impressive fighters, and I will just looking forward to seeing them in the final against everything else and yeah that'll be next episode so yes this is the uh, end of this episode so yes the F-000 stealth interceptors from Maximus Light are victorious today and will be the final planes going to the final except for two honorable mentions that's what I do in the well I did last time I, I took five planes and two honorable mentions this time six planes and two honorable mentions to the final to see who is the king of kings um, we will truly find that out, and it will be quite impressive. That will be next episode, of course. Um, uh, yeah, so don't send me any more crap for this. There will be the finale, and then probably a bit of subscriber designs, and then World War II Fighter Jet Showdown, which will just be a one-off episode, and then maybe another series of this. I don't know. Um, so yeah, do come back next episode to find out who is the King of Kings. Congratulations to everyone today. They were all fantastic jets. And a special congratulations to, of course, Maximus Light. These are truly amazing. I hope you have enjoyed this. This has been Caspi with Tape. I will see you next time.